The year was 1996. It was my junior year in high school, and I was on Sanibel Island in Florida for spring break. We had just arrived. My mom, my dad, my younger brother, my friend Tyler dropped her bags at the hotel. Tyler and I put on our swimsuits to head out to the beach to meet up with the other kids from Edina High School, making memories on Sanibel Island in 1996. Now it was white hot, and I was pale white, because winter in Minnesota goes until late June, and my frail body was not used to such a scorching hot sun in mid-March. Nevertheless, I hate putting on sunscreen. I hate it, so I figured I'd take my chances and deal with the consequences later. Well, my mom had another idea. I ran out the door, she said, stop, you need to put on sunscreen. And I said, no, I don't want to put on sunscreen. And she said, yes. No, said I. Yes, said she. This went on and on and on and on for far longer than it would have taken me to actually apply sunscreen. My mother, a caring gentlewoman who just didn't want me to get sunburned, and me, a stubborn 17-year-old, hell-bent on chasing tail and playing hacky sack. It finally escalated to a fever pitch, and I looked her directly in the eye without breaking eye contact and did this. and then headed off to the beach. The rest of the trip I was known as Slap Hand and spent the better part of a week with a scorching sunburn save for a patriotic white hand print and a diagonal streak across my torso. Now this made it painful and hard to chase tail. No one wants to hook up with Slap Hand. How could someone so careless with his own sunscreen be a gentle and considerate lover? Now the point is, I still hate putting on sunscreen to this day. I suck at it, and I routinely get burned. I don't like how it gets all over my hands. I put it on haphazardly. In true infomercial spirit, there's got to be a better way. This is the Block Rock. I paid 15 bucks for it, and I had high hopes that it'd make me not hate putting sunscreen on quite as much. It basically turns your sunscreen tube into a roll-on applicator. You don't get your hands messy, and it fits a bunch of popular bottle brands. And if your brand isn't compatible, you can buy an actual empty bottle with the block rock attached to it and just squirt your sunscreen into it. That version costs 22 bucks. Does it work well? Sort of. I found it to work best to put sunscreen on a squirmy toddler without getting my hands all greasy. You have to be very diligent about making sure you're getting complete coverage, but overall I found it easier than repeatedly applying little dabs here and there and then rubbing them in by hand. However, I found it was pretty difficult to use to put lotion on myself. You'll do best to use a mirror to make sure you cover every nook and cranny, and getting yourself covered from head to toe takes far longer than the old-fashioned way. And it's really hard to get areas like the shoulders and knees since they're not level. And even after all that, you still need someone to do your back for you, and you better hope they have the patience to cover it all if they're using the block rock. And even after careful coverage, I still managed to get some splotchy sun marks. So also be forewarned that it doesn't work very well with thick lotions, especially organics. It works decently with standard lotion and less pasty organics, though. All in all, decent option for little kids, tough sell for adults, especially if you're applying sunscreen yourself. We have a picture of Slap Hand? No? Thank God. No evidence. I'd rather show the entire internet a picture of me in like my pre-teen awkward years than Slap Hand. I never want to see Slap Hand again. Oh, there, that's good. Cool turtleneck, you wiener.